Hey, how's it going guys? Salt here with another tutorial on WebAssembly. Now, in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how you can export C function into the JavaScript. With our first WebAssembly module loaded, now ready to get explore all important export objects of compiled module. See how to call this main function from browser using JavaScript. In our index.html file, we have access to this class of objects. So, in order for us to explore this outside of the scope of this closure or callback function, I assign the wasm object to the window object of the browser window. Window.wasm equals wasm. Now, restart the server, head on to our browser, go to the console, and type wasm. If you expand that, you can find there's an instance which is all the thing you take from the another language like C and the module the wasm itself. Now if you type in the console wasm instant.sports you can find this memory and the main function which we are exported earlier. The memory I will discuss it in the next lesson but for now let's see the main and it returns 42 that function which we are expecting. Let's try it with a new function then. Head over to wasm fiddle, make a new function get number with an integer and return 22. Built that, download that. Replace the old one with a new wasm. Go to the index.html and log webassembly.module.export wasm.module. Restart the server. Reload the browser there and there you have it. Free export in this time which if I expand this is now a lot. More infinity coming from that module export before. And if I call the function instant.export.getNumber, we can get it 22. But you know, it is pretty useless to having function return static integer. So I'm gonna change that. Let's head over to wasm fiddle. Let's modify get number to be a one of some arbitrary use. Then I will change this to be a double number, which will return double of that number, just calling that x, and it will return x times 2. Build that and then download and put that into the, our public. And now what we're gonna do log it on the console which is wasm.instant.export.get double number and passing in 80 and restart the server reload your web page and there you have it the result we are expecting which is 160 you can directly call from here wasm instance export get double number passing 100 and you have the 200 and that's what we need so we are slowly moving towards having small functional code in our WebAssembly module. In the next lesson, we will see the opposite of this by means of input object.